Thank you for watching Deeper Than Red. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell when new episodes are released. Every last Wednesday of each month, a new episode will come out. Once again, dive in and enjoy this episode. Josephine glided through the party guests, smiling and making conversation. As always, Josephine Baker, the iconic French starlet, was the center of attention. But unbeknownst to the party guests, she was also a spy for the French resistance. It was World War II, and Paris was a dynamic and dangerous cross-section of enemies, allies, and spies. How did Josephine, once a homeless teenager in St. Louis, Missouri, become a starlet and a spy in Paris, France? Josephine Baker was born in 1906. Her childhood was difficult. Josephine worked at a young age to help support her impoverished mother and siblings. She spent her teenage years living on the streets, surviving on food from scrap bins and sleeping in cardboard boxes. However, Josephine finally made her way to the heart of the Harlem Renaissance in New York City. Living on the streets gave life to Josephine's talent for dancing and performing. One day, a talent recruiter saw her perform and asked her if she would like to join an all-black review in Paris. Josephine, weary of the constant discrimination in Jim Crow America, was ready for a change. With the promise of $1,000 a month, she headed to France and never looked back. Josephine's presence on the Parisian entertainment scene was unlike anything that had been seen before. On October 2nd, 1925, she debuted Revue Negre at the Théâtre des Champs Elysees. It was Josephine's act, The Danse Sauvage, in a banana skirt and pearls that made the show a sensation. The show sold out night after night, and soon Josephine became the bronze Venus of France. Although the success of the Revue Negre gave Josephine her big break in the Parisian entertainment scene, it was still a show based on caricature and racist undertone. But Josephine, always a survivor and victor, made the best of whatever opportunities came her way. She became famous for her beauty, charm, and high-end fashion. Josephine went on to star in four French movies. She never made a Hollywood film, but at that time, black actresses in the United States were only getting supporting roles as slaves or maids. She was so well-loved in France that she had a cosmetic line Baker Fix and a Josephine doll that sold by the thousands. She became the it girl of Paris and Europe's highest paid entertainer. Historians agree that if Josephine had stayed in the United States, she would have never accomplished all that she did in France. Soon after World War II began, a French secret agent, Jacques Abti, came to visit Josephine at her mansion, Le Beau Chien. The French military intelligence service was searching for a spy who could travel freely through Europe and Africa without attracting attention. Josephine immediately said yes. She began attending parties at the Italian and Japanese embassies. She would smuggle out information for the Allies in invisible ink on sheet music. Living in Morocco during the war, Josephine used her charm to obtain Moroccan passports for countless European Jews, ultimately saving their lives. Even though France was Josephine's home, she didn't turn her back on the United States. However, she refused to perform in venues that would not allow a racially mixed audience. Historians credit Josephine as the first person to desegregate Las Vegas casinos, although that credit is often given to Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. During her 1951 U.S. tour, she was fed up with the numerous hotels and restaurants that refused to serve her. As a result, she ended up on the FBI watch list and lost her U.S. citizenship rights for over a decade. With the help of the Attorney General, Robert F. Kennedy, 
Josephine finally returned to the U.S. in 1963 to speak at the March on Washington. Josephine would tell the crowd, You know I've always taken the rocky path. I never took the easy one. I took that rocky path and I tried to smooth it out a little. I wanted to make it easier for you. I want you to have that chance at what I had. Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.